This exercise is about conducting a depressurization test to get a CFM of 50 Pascal result. It's really important to learn how to run a depressurization test because it's the most common test direction that will be used in testing most residential houses. The equipment that we need is a blower door system, a simulator, and a series of quick guides. The setup is to install the fan into the simulator with the fan blowing away from the operator, which is essentially depressurizing the house, which is where you're standing. We set the device on the gauge to the appropriate device, which in this case is a 1000 fan. We set the range configuration to the range configuration that's on the fan, which in this case is B. And we press the mode button, which is over here, until flow appears on the display. A gauge setup consists of the red tube and yellow tube being connected to the red and yellow ports on the gauge in this particular case for uh, building pressure and for uh, fan pressure and a yellow ethernet cable which comes out which is a control cable. This comes down over towards the fan and the yellow connector goes into the fan onto the uh, reference B port and the ethernet cable which is the controlling cable goes into the fan. Normally the red tube which is uh, about 14 feet longer than this tube will go through the panel here and outdoors. In this case in the simulator to keep away from the blast of the fan it goes in a hole up here. So we've already installed the gauge so that we've got the tubing connected to the fan. In this case we're going to take the speed control cable and disconnect it because we're going to do a manual test. The first step is to take the pressure up to 50 pascals and to write down how many CFM it took to get to 50 pascals. In the next step, we're going to enter the exposed envelope area by first of all changing the mode to CFM per 100 square feet and then press the enter key which is now also volume area and enter the area of 1000. Enter and we can now set the speed back to 50 pascals and read the flow rate in CFM per 100 square feet and write that answer down.